and the window's a lot shorter than it used to be. Yeah, yeah. It's got good power, but I drove it on the track some, but, and the hood's so long on it, God, man, it's just rough riding. But I guess if you're young and you buy them, it's all good. Yeah. All they really care about is the speed, I guess. Maybe I'm just getting too old for it. Okay, let's work I didn't know you got too old for speed. I don't think so. Friend of mine it. back home, he's 73 and he still road races. Does he really? Yeah. Fantastic. I like that. Yeah. Okay, see, I've never been here. Nope. I've never, this is the biggest speedway I've ever seen. The only other race track I've seen, well, I've never seen a race track inside. I was at New Hampshire uh, driving through a few years ago with my sister. What's and that look like? I've never been. I never there. saw inside the track because it, it it was closed up for that. Okay. We were there too early in the spring. Yeah, because they don't even open their gift shop but like five months out of the year. Yeah, it That's was. They we had just from. opened it. They just opened it. Yeah. And we had just lost. Four years ago was when we lost our uh, spring race to Kentucky, but they were going to pull one from us or New Hampshire. I was certain it would be New Hampshire because NASCAR is a southern sport. Mm -hmm. this, it was born up in the south, and we're the fastest track on the circuit. So I was certain we would keep that race, no problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. He pulled it from us. I wish he'd have pulled it from New Hampshire. I still don't understand that. Well, I think they're trying to get more, more fans from the north. That's right. You know, yeah. Okay, this tunnel's original when the track was built in 59. This used to be going into turns one and two when I was growing up. Okay. Um, just employees use this tunnel most of the time. We have a new one on the other side. This one will go through to get to the infield. This is now called Trackside Terrace up on the hill here. Um, it'll hold 100 RVs during the race. Um, this is now the back stretch. But back in my day, this was the front stretch. And there were 35,000 seats up there. Um, the hill came out a little bit further when I was a little girl because I remember my, my dad would always try to park on the hill right here. Because back in the day, this was a booming place. Mm -hmm. It was a, a lot of people here back in the day. We had a tornado that came through in 2005. It came from the west, and when it hit the grandstands, it just peeled them up like you took a can opener out there. Yeah. So that's when our owner, Brute Smith, had it leveled off and put that RV park up there. I think it's about $3,500 to park your RV up there during the race weekend. Wow. Yes, exactly. And all this to the left, this is all van parking. There's no charge for parking here at AMS. Wow. Hopefully that'll never happen. This is our souvenir warehouse here. This was all woods when I was growing up. There were pine trees everywhere. Everywhere. You just kind of parked in between them. The same families on that land across the street my whole life. They raised cows. Um, they would move the cows to the back part of their property and let race fans park for free back in the day. Um, now they charge about $20 to park, I think. This was like a little bitty dirt road running through here when I was growing up. Really, I don't think there's any need for anybody to pay to park anymore. We've got plenty. Uh, we got 1,200 acres here. We can certainly accommodate all our fans with free parking. Our owner is Bruton Smith. Um, he, his land starts on this side and goes way back. Because we're up to 1,200 acres now. So I, he had to buy land back there. <clears throat> now, this is our main tunnel. Anybody going to the infield uses this tunnel. Haulers, drivers, fans, everybody uses this tunnel. It's up under turns one and two. And it's, actually it's a lot more narrow 
than the other tunnel over there, which I find completely amazing. Hmm. And you'll see the scrapes on the walls here going down to the left. I've heard people say that Jeff Gordon's holler always hits it <laughs> right there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's his head. It's that ego get to it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, you know, race, anyone that races cars has an ego. Most of them do. Back in the day, when I was growing up, Richard Petty, David Pearson, Carol Yarbrough, and all those, mm -hmm. really, there was no way ego back then. No, no, no there that was, was no ego. It was their job. Yes, exactly right. Yeah, that's when I started following Petty. Oh, he's he was a wonderful. Oh, wonderful man. I, I met him once. He was up at the the dirt track in Winnipeg years ago. Is that right? They would. The NASCAR had done a. Uh, a, a promotion by sending a bunch of drivers around. So they had Richard Petty, Michael Waltrip, oh. Ernie Irvin, oh, yeah. Sterling Marlin. Yes. Um, Both of those are good. Both of those are there's good. two more. I can't remember who Did they David were. David Pierce? No, no. That's my man. Oh. All-time favorite, yeah. All-time favorite. Now this side is uh, the original side of the track when it was built in 59. And our first race was in 1960. These were our garage area. Um, a gentleman named Fireball Roberts. Mm -hmm. He won the pole position. He won the race. Um, about 134 miles an hour is what he did. And he won $10,000 back in the day. That's pocket change now. Mm -hmm. Compared. Across this first wall, this was Pitt Road when I was growing up. The main stretch and the main grandstands were on the hill. That's where those $3,500 camping slots are now. Tickets back then, I remember, was $5 for the race. And it was fantastic. We were a true oval back then. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, most of Bruton Smith's mile and a half tracks, well, they're all quad ovals now. Mm -hmm. I don't quite understand that. I wish we'd kept ours as an oval. Um, these shuttle buses uh, go around the perimeter of the uh, track all the way around and pick up race fans. They usually start on uh, Friday and they go late into the night. All this is used for storage on this end now. And in these garages, uh, they house the um, legend card. Let me turn around so you can see from that side, sir. Yesterday they had them open and they had some, uh, one of the guys was working down here. These little cars are called legend cars like we have out there in the lobby. Mm -hmm. They run these on Thursday nights during the summer months. And I think they're extending a little further this year, later into September. Yep, they're amazing cars. Yeah, those are cute little cars. I call them little Bonnie and Clyde cars. Mm-hmm. Let me get right here so you can see one. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Now you can come down here also and talk to a gentleman named Dwight and you pay him $50 and you can uh, drive it on a quarter mile track out front. So many laps. Oh yeah. Yeah. We'll go back out this way. Yeah. So y'all do like, um, so you got Danica. And Dale Jr. Yeah, and uh, uh, Tony Stewart, uh, Marcus Ambrose. Uh, oh, Marcus Ambrose, he's wonderful. Yeah, I tell you. Anyone, I I'll cheer for anyone when they're driving for Petty. Gotcha. Mark Martin. Mark Martin. Always loved Mark, Mark Martin. Martin. Yeah, he's a good clean driver. Yeah, good clean driver. I like the clean drivers. Uh, Rusty Wallace Driving School is going to be here this weekend. They brought the trailer in uh, yesterday. Oh, yeah. We have quite a few driving schools that come here. Of course, Richard Petty does. Mm -hmm. um, Jeff Gordon has a NASCAR experience, I think it's called, with uh, Open Wheel and NASCAR. Because one day I want to come down here when the Andretti schools out here. I'd like to see some of those open wheel go around. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. We had an open wheel race here back in 98. 
not too many people are here. Most of us in the south, we got to have a top over our head to race. We don't like the open wheel too much. No, that's just too dangerous. I don't watch your motorcycles. I can't understand that either. Me either. Or I. I like to be surrounded. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> got it. Um, this parking area to the right here, this is where the drivers stay in their nice motor homes during the race. It's highly secured. Um, there was a nice playground over there, but I think the tornado got that. It did $60 million worth of damage to the facility. It tore up everything but the track. Uh, this section to the left is considered the new section between 90 and 97. That's when our owner, Bruton Smith, um, did $100 million worth of upgrades to the facility. Reconfigured the track, new garages, just uh, grandstands. Because it, kind of, it was run down in here when I was growing up, which nobody minded because we were interested in the racetrack itself. Mm -hmm. There was a lake down here. It was really muddy, but it didn't matter. Race fans, we just want to see the racing. Yes. Not the prim and proper things around here we were too interested in. Let's see, I want to see if that gate's open. I like to go in, coming off of turn four right here. Let's see if this... Oh, it's open. Okay, good. We'll go first get on the track, just in case it starts raining, then we'll come back through the garage areas and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I, I used to race uh, Datsuns on ice. In, the, in Canada, we have long winters, so we ice raced. Cars? We, cars. I put, Dad must be I put quarter inch bolts through the tires, sealed them up, and cut them off with bolt cutters so they were razor sharp. Oh, like they had, uh, uh, what you call shoes? Yeah, just like Just like that? Yeah. Holy cow. And they. That's fascinating. I was, the, 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 one of the races we were at, we had a long sweeping straightaway, so by the time you got up into fourth gear, you were kind of sideways the whole straightaway. I bet you was. And the local police were out with their radar, and they clocked me at 165 kilometers an hour, which is about 105 miles an hour. Oh, on ice, with snow banks on both sides. No. Okay, we're getting on that track. I love, I love speed, I love speed, I love speed, I love speed. I love speed.